Hey folks, just a uh, quick video to show you the uh, safe slash protection mode on your ATI dimmable sun power. If you notice an exclamation point in the upper right hand corner of your control screen, that will indicate that your fixture is now in safe slash protection mode. The purpose of this uh, mode is to prevent the fixture from getting too hot. And what will happen is that if it does get too hot, it will automatically start to dim. As you can see in this particular fixture, the maximum um, intensity is about 50%, which is uh, considerably less than what it is set to. And again, it's doing that automatically to protect, uh, again, the fixture from getting too hot and from damaging the ballast and the bulbs. The first thing you want to check is to make sure that all the fans on your fixture are spinning. The second thing would be to make sure that you've got at least a 2-3 to three inch clearance between the top of the fixture itself and whatever is above the fixture. If there is not clearance there, the fans can't draw in cool, clean air, and the fixture will not cool effectively. The next thing you want to do is make sure you've got appropriate clearance on the side of the fixture. Hot air exits the side of the fixture opposite the cord itself, and so you want to have at least two inches between the side of the fixture and the wall and or canopy that may be to the side of the fixture itself. Again, minimum of two inches and ideally more. The next thing you want to do is check to make sure you're not constricting the hot air exit from the side of the fixture. Hot air will exit through the side of the fixture between the acrylic shield and the side of the housing itself. And ideally, this gap should be one quarter of an inch. For the purposes of this illustration, we've placed a box underneath the acrylic shield to push it upwards to reduce this gap to one-eighth of an inch. Typically, that's not enough to allow enough hot air to exit the fixture and allow the fixture to cool properly. Here's what it should look like. Again, approximately a quarter of an inch between the acrylic shield and the side of the housing. The final piece is that if you've got your fixture installed inside of a canopy or other enclosure, it's extremely important that you provide enough cooling and ventilation to allow the hot air produced by the fixture to escape. If that's not done, the fixture will typically get too hot and overheat. 